hello everyone welcome to windows 10 videos in this video we are going to see that how are we going to restart our system actually reset our uh, windows 10 or a windows 11 pc so why do we need to reset the pc to the default settings it may be due to some performance issues or due to some buggy code or maybe you want to change your windows version from 10 to 11 or something like this so in this video we are going to see the process to uh, reset our system this will work for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let us just dive right into the topic. So first of all, what you need to do is just go to the start icon and right click there. This would bring you this kind of a dialog box from which you need to go to settings. From the settings window, you need to go to update and security. From update and security, you need to select the recovery option. The first option in recovery is to reset this PC. So if it is running, well then resetting it would help that's what this says so let's just click on get started now here are some of the options that you can choose the first one is to keep your files so all the apps that you have downloaded throughout the course of using your pc those apps would be removed any of the custom settings that you have applied those would be removed but any of the data that you have saved all your personal files would be kept so it is a good way of protecting your data as for the apps, what you can do is just make a list of the apps that you currently have installed or are going to use in the future and then reinstall them. Or the second option you can do is remove everything that is remove all your personal files, including the apps and settings. So in this case, what happens, all of your data would be reset. In case you are planning to sell on your PC to somebody else and you don't want your data to be compromised, you don't want them to see your data, then this is the option that you need to go for, remove everything. For this video, I'm just going to go with keep my files option so that all my files are protected at least. Uh, doesn't matter if my apps or the settings are gone, those I can reset again. So let's just click on keep my files. Then it would uh, give you an option that this won't take long. Now what happens when your PC is reset, so Windows would be uninstalled as well. Now what you need to do is you need to reinstall Windows. So this is how it is asking that how do you want to reinstall the Windows? Do you want a cloud download or do you want a local reinstall? Now go for local reinstall only if you are fairly certain that some place in your local system, the Windows is actually there, otherwise it would bring up some kind of issues while resetting your pc so uh, if you are not sure about that just go to cloud download so just go with cloud download okay i have gone with cloud downloads now it gives you some additional settings that the current settings are restore apps and settings which came with this pc download and reinstall videos these are the two settings you have selected your personal files won't go anywhere they would be protected if you want to change any settings similarly you can just go to this change settings option and can change these settings so let's just click on it so do you want to restore the pre-installed apps restore the apps and the settings that came with this pc not the apps that you have externally installed suppose if i just go to my desktop here so you can see i have a youtube app i have a google meet app i have a mongodb compass so these apps won't be installed because they don't come pre-installed with the pc the apps that come pre-installed with the pc those would be restored to their default settings the second is download and reinstall videos uh, windows actually so do you want that option yes i want that option so you can just confirm those settings the next is cloud download can use more than four gigs of data so that is uh, the data that would be used to install uh, and use the windows okay then you can click on next and then your pc will start to reset it would restart during the reset for several times but that is just a part of the process you have to like uh, uh, accept this thing and it would take around 10 to 15 minutes or maybe around 30 to 40 minutes in some cases uh, depending on your network connection speed because uh, windows would be downloading from the cloud especially in this case so that depends a lot on your network speed so on the basis of that your windows would be uh, firstly it would be all erasing the data all the pre-existing apps it would be uh, erasing it would be erasing all the custom settings that you have selected then it would be removing the windows after that it would reinstall the windows and give you a new pc experience with all the apps and the settings uh, that has been there by default so once that's done, your PC would be reset and your problem or the issue that you have been facing up till now would have been solved. 
so that's how you reset your pc in my case i don't want to reset my pc so i'm simply just clicking on cancel so this whole process just stops right there so that's it for this video thanks for watching